Alright, so, welcome back to Pokemon Blue Walkthrough, part 42. I gotta get my bearings here, because I'm just wobbling back and forth here at the bottom of this, <clears throat> this part of the bridge, running into a fence. I gotta straighten things out. But, if you remember, at the end of part 41, I was quite exasperated, to say the least, and I was attempting to find the two remaining items that are yet so elusive. There are two good items, but they're both hidden, that's why I can't find them. They are a max revive and a PP up, so without further ado, let's get going on that mission. Uh, throughout this part, I'm going to be heading to the power plant, hopefully, uh, taking care of maybe a couple minor errands, and there it is. So max revive, I kind of scouted out off screen again. We got our max revive, we only got one more item to take care of now, and I believe I know where I'm going to find that one. Um, it's easier to run into the items if you're going uphill because you can more quickly press A. So just a word of advice there. and. For this PP up, it is on the fourth column, if you know what, uh, so to speak, um, going up. It's about halfway down on the east bridge. Should be running into it. Maybe I've skipped over it and not pressed A quick enough at a certain point. Um, and it's about halfway down this eastern bridge. This is the east part of the bridge. Excuse me, as my microphone collapses on itself. Uh, I'm going to be trying this again. I know it's on the fourth, uh, fourth lane fourth quadrant that you can be in, fourth column, um, trying to get it, uh, this is going to be a little bit easier going back up the hill obviously, and I don't see the hill, once again, I don't see the hill, and it's halfway up, so I'm assuming there, that's the beginning right there, that fence, just to give you a little perspective, so come on, let's go, truck, up the hill, I think I can, 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 all right, so let's find it. Let's find it. Let's find it. No, it's here. Just ran into it. Unless it disappeared magically. All right. so I'm keep trying. I'm keep trying. And then, yeah, you might be right there. Getting carpal tunnel on the right finger. On the right pointer finger. Getting carpal tunnel. Oh no. And I did not run into it yet again. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the third the third column. I don't believe it is the third column though. I just did this off screen. I apologize. I thought I had it all prepped and prepared. I did for the PP up apparently. Or excuse me, the max revive, not the PP up. So I'm going to head up the third column now right to the east or right or whatever you want to describe it to of this, this metal rail. And I don't believe it's the farthest column. That would be a little extreme for what my recollection call, uh, tells me. We got these flowers dancing beneath me. I don't know how they're not just entirely trampled right now. But it looks like I'm balancing in between them, which is an amazing feat. Alright, so what has it been? A couple minutes now, and I still haven't found the PP up. PP up is more valuable than the max revive, so it's disappointing. Let's go, let's go, let's find this. Uh, but after this, I'll be going to the power plant, and I'll be catching some new Pokemon, getting a lot of good items in there. Uh, as well, and I'll be getting a PP up there too. So um, I'll also be running to probably not. I'll be I'll probably not see Zapdos in this part. Part 43 will be more more likely uh, to see Zapdos. Maybe my enter button just doesn't work anymore. The A button doesn't work anymore. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on! Driving me insane. Where'd it go? I just got it. I don't get this upset. I'm. Come on. Come on now. Might as well be trying to catch a Chansey in Safari Zone. Ugh. But I'll be uh, maybe catching an Electrode, getting a Magnemite, getting a Magneton. We'll see what uh, I come across. And that is a great place to grind as well. I uh, get some Raichus in there. That's pretty sexy. Alright, come on. Come on. There it is! Right as I was about to heat through my sweatshirt, I run into the PP up. Thank you very kindly. Not going to say that ever again. Thank you very much. Alright, so I'm going to use Big Bird now. And I'm going to navigate around to Cerulean City. So I'm going to head over to Cerulean City. And although I don't like healing my Pokemon on screen, I'm just going to have to do it for you. 
Um, check my group. A couple guys are fainted. So it would be smart of me to put Jolteon and Lee, because even though I'm going to an electric, uh, electric laid in place, I need to get some experience push for Jolteon. Off screen between part 42 and part 43, I'll definitely be doing some grinding. Probably get all my Pokemon up to like level 52, somewhere around there. Uh, including Rex Quando, who I have exiled to the, the, um, no, not you lady, to the, uh, PC. So, go head over here. Hi, Bill. So, I had to change boxes. So, uh, what am I doing? I need to go into my PC. Um, so I'm going to keep Mark with me right now. And I'm going to deposit my HM2. So I'm going to need to sell some items. I'll be doing that off screen too. I probably said I was going to do that between part 41 and 42. But sometimes you just don't got time. And I believe I need cut. But Mark knows it. That's why I got Mark here. Great pick up there in the gate. And once again, that's why I spent my Saturday afternoon training a slow bro. Or a slow poke up to a slow bro. Guess that's why. So I don't have to walk back to the Pokemon Center. You don't have to see me walk back to the Pokemon Center and you uh, get cut out of my box. So Mark, I prefer the Mark with a K. If any of you guys are have the name Mark with a C, that's fine with me as well. But um, just a little bit more unusual. I like unusual things though. And this is probably a familiar place to you. Come. Shorts are comfy. Yes, they are. I believe that's the guy that would have spit that out at me. You know, for me, my sprite is so short. Even if you were to wear shorts in the summertime, people would still ask him, why don't you ever wear shorts? They look like pants on you, but I am wearing shorts. Just to verify that with you. So Blastoise, thankfully, as Surf as well. So we are just on fire in terms of HMs. Uh, going down this uh, C route here on Route 9, I believe. Uh, Donzi is some normal Pokemon. I'm not exactly sure what Pokemon you run into. But, uh, right as you take this right, uh, left hand turn, or right hand turn for this guy, for uh, your own character, you're gonna run into him, so I'm gonna battle him real quick. Wow, are you a Pokemaniac too? Wanna see my collection? I don't know why Pokemaniacs would be chilling over here, unless you have Surf, and I'm gonna judge that. I'm gonna see if you have a Pokemon that would have Surf. So, we'll see. No. Oh, Rhyhorn actually, I believe, can learn Surf. Or at least it can in the uh, second generation so I'm gonna use double kick super effective it's coming through for me here hit the enemy twice and horn attack we're just gonna have to bite the bullet get through it and quick attack would probably not be the best option definitely not Thunderbolt Thundershock don't be trying that and I won't be trying that off screen because or on screen I'll get some nasty ready kill so level 46 from Jolteon still got some uh, moves to learn Lickitung no one else has Lickitung where did you get that guy so I'm going to use my most powerful move. Probably should have used the double kick, but Thunderbolt does it for me as well, so to each his own. And there goes Pokemaniac. Humph, I'm not angry. Well, at least it was refreshing to see some new Pokemon to battle against. I have a rare Pokemon at home. Well, I bet you do if you're a Maniac. So here, check this sign. This is an obscure building. Power plant. So I'm assuming this supplies all the power to Kanto as it did in the second generation. It has rocks in it though, so... Pretty poor management on the uh, one of the municipal services uh, in Kanto, or I guess it would be like Cerulean City County or whatever. I don't know divisions in the counties, but this would be Cerulean City's property. So throughout the power plant, you're going to see these fake items. Um, six, two of them are electrodes that are fake items, and I believe there's six fake items that are Voltorbs. We've already caught a Voltorb, so. Uh, catching Electrode would be a new Pokemon, I believe, for me, so that'll make it a little bit easier on me. I won't have to train up a Voltorb, so see what this guy is. So this is a Carbos uh, that crosses off uh, one of the items for us. I forgot the cross off of my notes. The other two items on Route 17, so there goes Carbos. There are two uh, TMs you're going to want to get in here, Reflect and Thunder. We'll get to that in a second. Um, you also run into, in terms of new Pokemon, um, Electrodes, here's a Pikachu, I'm not going to be catching a Pikachu. Um, you get Electrodes, two of them. Uh, Magnetons, levels 21 to 23, it's a 25% occurrence rate, so you'll be seeing a lot of those guys. Or did I say Magnemites? Magnemites levels 21 to 
25% occurrence rate. Magnetons, the level 32 to 35, 10% occurrence rate, so that's pretty high uh, for such a strong Pokemon. Uh, then you get Raichus, which is awesome. And a Yamion, I don't know if you're still watching this walkthrough right now, maybe if you got other obligations. Raichu, I know, would be an awesome pick, but it's a little late. So here's one of the fake items that are Voltorbs. They're level 40! Unbelievable. So if you needed a late Pokemon, you could go with this guy, but um, I'm definitely set in terms of having a Jolteon. So critical hit, and that should knock it out. So let's see what kind of experience points. It still doesn't give me too much. Um, and we're just going to continue to head down here. Uh, you also run into Zapdos, level 50, and there's only one. So you got to make it count. So here's a Magnemite. I have not caught one of these guys quite yet, so I'm going to use Thundershock, and that should keep it alive. Uh, probably would have been smart on my part to bring uh, bring Wingly Tough along, and there's a critical hit. I'll run to another guy here uh, soon. Not a big deal for taking him out. Definitely won't be doing that for Zapdos. So these are two guys here. One of them is a fake item. Probably the other one is real. So another Voltorb. And of course, it'll be at a level 40. Um, and then off screen, I'm probably going to, if I do end up getting to Zapdos here, or at least I start end, end standing in front of Zapdos here at the end of part 42, I'm going to go off screen. I'm going to uh, get my Wigglytuff in my party, maybe get it a little bit of higher level uh, to increase it, but I'm not going to have a uh, faster speed than a Zapdos, so probably be futile on my part. And then I'm going to uh, come back here with about 90 Ultra Balls and probably just start chucking Ultra Balls at, um, at Zapdos. So the TM33 is not the one, it is one of the TMs, but we are looking more so to find Thunder. Um, another option we do have is paralyzing it with one of my electric type moves, so I might be doing that as well. And since par paralysis stays the entire time, that will prevent me from missing um, zap those with some of my ultra balls because that is a major problem so similar to what Snorlax uh, happened with Snorlax and wow getting two critical hits is quite amazing considering I'm on a walkthrough right now and we run into another guy here so the only reason obviously that I'm having these wild encounters because there's some Pokemon I need to catch and might as well take up that time that we have in part 42 for that stuff so we're going to retrace our steps here uh, I don't think this is too difficult of a place to navigate but Here's a Magneton, so I'm going to work my way, see if I cannot catch this guy. Uh, level 35, so a great bet. Uh, not have a great learn set, but uh, it's not a bad Electric-type Pokemon. I was actually considering it a little bit, so it looks like I'm free to use Thunderbolt. Uh, critical hit. Critical hit's being racked up today. And Thunderbolt should definitely keep this guy alive. Weakened him. Unbelievable! Another critical hit. I'm just striking out, but... Yet again, uh, while hitting Grand Slams. So, I thank you, game, for providing me with another Magneton. A little bit lower level, so I have less room of, uh, for error. But my Thunderbolt should not provide a critical hit for me again. And it should keep this guy floating. There we go. So, I probably have enough room to plop in a couple uh, quick attacks. Quick attack one, probably, probably two quick attacks. Magneton has pretty good defense. I'm going to leave it there. And now I'm going to start using the Ultra Balls. Obviously, I could train up a Magnemite to a Magneton, but once again, it's for my own convenience. So, Ultra Ball, please work for me here. Alright, so that was kind of expected. I wasn't expecting to catch the jackpot here right away. And I better get used to the balls not catching the Pokemon that I need to catch, because I'll be seeing that was at those. So, we got a Magneton. Yet another Pokemon added to our Pokedex, formed by several Magnemites linked together. They frequently appear when sunspots flare up. So I guess when a Magnemite evolves, it attracts other Magnemites to it. So would those other Magnemites not be quite evolved yet? And wouldn't all the, the levels of the three Magnemites create the final level of the Magneton? That's too much for me to think about, but I don't think that applies. So I'm right, going to check our Pokedex. We have 68 that we own. I'm not sure what the final number that I'm pursuing is. I'm going to figure that out at some point. Uh, we're just going to continue on right now, because I'm not going to be worrying about how many Pokemon I have. So, bzz, yet again, another fake item, which is a Voltorb. This place is more easy to, or easier to navigate than a Pokemon Mansion, so um, I kind of relate these two. They're pretty similar in my mind, um, in terms of being indoor, wild encounter-inducing 
item providing places and hopefully this does not knock out my Jolteon but I'm kind of expecting it will. That's why I picked up the Max Revive though. So I'm just going to pull that guy out real quick and um, might as well use the Max, max Revive considering a revival only put me halfway up. And I'm back to full health. So I'm revitalized as the game says. And hopefully this is a real item. Nope. Bzz. Once again, there is one hidden or two hidden items. Um, there's one, the PP up, it's hidden in the rock right near Zapdos. We'll see that. And then the other one is a max elixir. It's hidden in the rock past the Voltorb and Electrode, which we'll see when the time comes. So I'm going to have to keep my uh, um, eyes peeled to see where that Electrode is so I can relate it to where the max elixir is. So down goes another Voltorb. I don't know how many, how many that is right now. Uh, and I'm just going to head up now. Nope, going to head back down. And, oh, I get stopped. Who is this? Better be a Magnemite. Thank you. So I'm just going to use a quick attack. Um, we'll see where that takes me. Could probably even catch it with an Ultra Ball as is. Nope, no luck there. So Quick Attack is out of the running for catching the next Magnemite that I have. And let's see what this guy is. Kind of out of my way. So you would expect, and it is Thunder. Beautiful. So um, Jolteon does learn Thunder, but I'm going to take care of that and maximize Jolteon's effect in this for me. Uh, getting a Thunder early on obviously gives me more opportunity to use it. Uh, even though it would look cool, used by Mark, um, look versatile. I'm going to just use it to Jolteon because it has great special. Um, and I'm just going to get rid of Thundershock. I might as well because there's not going to be a time when I'm going to need 35 PP of electric type moves. Thunder and Thunderbolt will plenty suffice. Um, so I'm just going to head east here, head right. And another bzz. How quaint. So we're going to see another rare candy. And I must have about nine rare candies in the bank. Uh, let's see, I don't, I don't know what the total is. Maybe some of you guys are rare candy fanatics out there, and you total up the rare candies for yourself. If you are, uh, make see why. Easy training make, makes easy gaming makes awesome Pokemon. So here comes the light screen. Not gonna use a special attack. Thank you for telling me, Gank, giving the forewarning. And down goes that full torp. So it's gonna head back out of here. And I'm still looking to find a Magnemite and a Raichu. So here's a magnum, uh, magnet, or magnemite, excuse me, and I am just gonna pull out the uh, the ultra ball right away. See if I can't capture this magnemite. It's not like it would have an incredibly low catch rate, um, but this just shows you. This goes to show how ultra balls aren't that. I mean, they're good. Obviously, they're improved from great balls and pokeballs, but your best bet is just to weaken a pokemon um, to get luck almost. Because uh, even a a low tier first evolution, not first evolution, but pre evolution Pokemon like a Magnemite, still puts up a pretty good fight when you're throwing uh, Ultra Balls at it. So just keep that in mind. Once you get to Blackthorn City, you're not going to get too excited. That's where you get the Ultra or Mahogany Town, I believe. So um, it's a Magnet, just like Magneton, uses anti gravity, stays suspended, appears without warning and uses Thunder Wave and similar moves. So possibly my Magneton has Thunder Wave, I'm not sure. So I could use that to help me with uh, getting my Zapdos. So I'm not going to give it a nickname and that takes care of the two Magnets. And to be one of the Steel Pokemon in the second generation. So the two other, we're looking for three more Pokemon, Raichu, and Electrode, and the Zapdos. Obviously all electric. It's electric. And I'm going to head upwards now. we got about 45 seconds remaining. See what we can't do. If I can't run into a Raichu, no, it doesn't look like it. So I'm just going to take down this Magneton and get my Jolteon a few more experience points. Then we'll continue on with what's left of the power plant in part 43. Um, after I grind up my Pokemon off screen and take care of some more housekeeping things. Catch, catch and zap those and then moving on from there uh, in part 43. So, oh my goodness. If only I could pull that off when I was actually wanting to catch the Pokemon, of course. And Quick Attack comes through for me there. So thanks for watching Part 42. I'll see you guys in a very climactic and exciting Part 43 when we'll be catching one of the legendary birds. 
Zapdos. So see you guys then.